Hello lads, we're back at it again. I think we're getting pretty close to, to solving this one. I'm pretty confident in it. I have to remember what part of the day we're in since last Oi. we streamed. Did I already tell Malleus to drop out? I think I did. Leave me be. Oh, well, he's not happy, so that's a big fat yes, which means he's no longer looming over, uh, what's his face? Ultius, I think is his name? The guy throwing himself off the ledge? What's his name? Uh, permanent solution? Ulpius, that's it. Let's let's go talk to Ulpius, why not? Hello, Ironic. I hope you have a good reason for flouting my weapons, man. Oh. I, you know, I'm sure he, he it, it's fine. Probably doesn't matter. See, what's the easiest way to get up there? Probably not this way. I should probably take the established path to get up there. Let's let's get moving over there. Dingo is here. Forgotten city time. Let's see. Up this way, and then up that way, and up around this way. So I mean, he was throwing himself off the ledge due to debt, right? Could you give me a quick recap of your last stream? I couldn't watch because Twitch playback is annoying. Ah. Uh, let's see. Last time we grabbed the golden bow. We went through the palace and got what we needed to cure rheumatism from the palace. Uh, I went ahead and figured out the identity of, of Maliolus. So he is dropping out of the race. I also got him to relinquish any sort of debt. That was, uh, I think it was two people that had a bunch of debt. So, ooh, hold on. Something suspicious over here. Pull out the bow real quick. There we go. And what do we have here? Oh, just something that gave me an achievement. Nothing nothing of importance. So now I'm going to see if I can get the suicidal man to relax at least a little bit. It, it You know, it's, I've already made his debt go away. It just seems a little unnecessary for him to, to kill himself at this point, you know? I don't even remember what information he has that is beneficial to me, but we're going to try and get it out of him. Oh god, it's you. Hey friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden Let's see. Um I need to talk to Opius. All right. Well, I can't believe this is how it ends. No, no, Opius, don't do it. Oh no. No, 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 no. 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 Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Opius, what are you doing? Get That's Skip the, skip what? the idea. You... Okay, we've already we've I'm already sorry. seen all Please this. Help. Okay. All right, I'll talk to him. Okay. Um Good news, Opius Melios has agreed to release you and Lulia from your debts. Too late. What do you mean it's too late? Ah! Well, I made a pact. No, and no, I cured her though. She's fine. If I backed out. No, no, no. Uh, Lucretia was able to get some Sylphium in time to save her life. She's going to be uh, fine. What? Don't Are do you it. Messing with me? Okay, you turned around. This is a good sign. I wouldn't do that. You're both free. All right. We're... Hell yeah. We're free. Okay. Nice. We're free. Thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Yulia. Uh, I just wish there was some way I could repay you, but I have nothing on my... Uh... No, what do you mean don't worry about it? I want him to vote for our boy. Because he's he is male and he is a citizen. That means he should have the right to vote. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and okay. tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. Fuck, why did I do that then? What does that do for me? Alright, let's... Look at him go. I don't know if this is a good outcome just yet, because Julia doesn't want to talk to me. She says she knows what kind of person I am. I literally just asked her if she knows how to get out of this city, and she got real mad at that question for some reason. So... Alright. What a name. Let's see. Uh, Great Temple is locked. Wait, where's, um... I guess I should check the... Check the quests. Oh, I guess I just don't have anything. Okay, what if we go... What if we go over and talk to them? That might... That might do it. Let me see. Why is she acting strangely? Hmm, I still haven't figured out all of the common threads. Let's see if Octavia can help with that. Just to push that quest forward a little bit. 
What you did was extraordinary. Can I help you with something? Um, let's see, what's your story? Here, in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. Okay. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. Yeah, another I was another even like river thing. I a handsome thing. young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms. Okay, how did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome seven months when ago, my family and I fled to Rome, the Tiber, hoping to escape in a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with yeah. that coin's passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of deaths. Rewarded before we get to part. Scuffle broke out, and I was pushed over. Yeah, it's useless to me. This is useless. All I all I've learned is that people fall into the river, and then they end up here. But that's oh, I that's need more right. than that. Okay, let's hope so. Let's talk about it, something else. Uh, do you know a way I'm out of here? Not. Although I did once hear someone gossiping Ooh, down okay, hold on. tavern about a this possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if that doesn't work, then I suppose mm -hmm. we're all stuck. Okay, I'll look into I it. So you're a Christian. Okay. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here. But Things are very difficult was to be. It's hard to be a Christian here. these days. And our emperor decided. They to keep trying to change all these books. There were. Make them too woke. Executions. Uh, your secret's safe oh, with me. All right, let's get oh. out of here. What is it? They're trying to change uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and then they immediately uh, decided not to do that. Oh, hey, look! It's that one dude pushing the boulder forever. Shrimp is here. Hello, Shrimp. I don't know who she is. There's a lot of women who live here. Oh, hey. I hope you're coping. I or... know what, what kind of... Ah, come on. Why is she mad? I just asked her how to leave. Why is she so cranky about it? All right. Well, let me see what I have for quests. Figure out how to get into the upper cistern. I need Dooley's key. And I need to get Dooley out of prison to do that. And getting him out of prison means I have to get people to vote for Galerius. So, okay. Uh, I figured it to stop Virgil's harassment. I guess that's our best option. I mean, Virgil's not going to vote the way we want him to unless we help him out. So we might as we might as well go deal with that for now. Sisyphus. That's that's the that's the spice. That's the man. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the I think I already got that guy. Shiny. Salve and welcome. Need something? God, she's weird. Uh, any idea who's threatening mm, Virgil? Terrible shame that is. Maybe last night I was cleaning my oven Late when I heard noises night, outside. The forums usually dead quiet at that okay. hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. This is tell useless him. information to dark. me. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. Mm. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch, and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. That's useful. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Okay. That does help, actually. All right. I'll All right. Leave her alone for now. I doubt her story is going to be useful to me. Okay. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. I learned that all my co-workers are also looking for new jobs and are going to quit. Oh god, where, where are you working at the same place my wife's working at? Nobody wants to work there. Alright, the assassin's done. We don't have to deal with him. Yeah, he always just dies now because of Galerius. <laughs> Since you already got the golden bow, you can turn the, the goose eggs into golden eggs. I'm telling you this because that's another way to get uh, Demetrius into the house. Huh? That's something. That's useful information. I don't remember where the goose eggs are, though. Fuck. Okay, well, now I'm gonna have to pay attention to where the goose eggs are. Alright, let's try to get some information out of Rufius first. Citizen. Just slow down, bud. Uh, Relax. You again. Did her boss also lie about her pay and have no respect for her time? Uh, my wife's boss just retired, and now the new boss is cracking down because I guess she thinks the workers aren't working, uh, even though everything's getting done. There's literally not enough work at the company for the amount of employees they have. They have like four times the staff that they need. So she's just like, 
keeping everybody at their cubicles. No stuff is allowed in the cubicles anymore. You can't have, like, your phone out or, like, a little toy, something to express yourself. Fucking none of that. Horrible. It's very stinky. Uh, are you the one no turning brutal? what you're talking about. I know it was you. Oh, I'm not gonna bluff him. Rufius seems like a nice guy. I don't think I don't think he'd do that. See you around. Plus, he has the rheumatism. How is he gonna threaten anybody when he's got fucking rheumatism? He doesn't seem like that kind of a homophobic asshole. So let, let's go to the slums. Well, all right, let's go to Horatius maybe. And then we'll go to the slums. That seems like a good idea. Hmm. Citizen. I mean, I'm not technically a citizen, so I can't vote. What is it, citizen? Horatius seems like a dick. Can you tell me about the magistrate? Are you the one threatening Virgil? What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. Hmm. I guess, you know, right? let's go to the slums first. I don't want to just bluff any random citizen. dude. Because, like, without... Without evidence, what am I really going to do? I mean, I guess... God, we're going to leave Demetrius alone, but it'd be really funny if I went over to him and he pulled, like, a L.A. Noir, and he's, he's just like, No, it wasn't me. It couldn't possibly be Zelda. me. Oh, hilarious. You'll become mayor soon. Don't worry about it. I got you, baby boy. All right, let's, let's skedaddle over to the slums and see what information we can gather. Gracious is actually a good, loyal lad. I don't know. Anybody could be the one being mean to Virgil. All these people could seem very nice, but all it all it takes is just one, uh, one, one, uh, one, 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 you know, radical video on YouTube, and all of a sudden everyone is homophobic. Why is it marking the slums? What am I looking for? Oh, it's just a penis. That's just straight up a a, a, a wiener. Okay. That doesn't really help me. Refuses chest. A complete note. Thus is your final warning, sinner. Oh, well. Per persuade Rufius to stop. Okay, so that was quite easy. You telling me it was Rufius? The guy that I said it couldn't have been because he was. He has fucking rheumatism? You're telling me that this guy. You're telling me this guy who has rheumatism is going to do this? Ugh. Alright, well. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go talk to him, I guess. Tell him to stop being an asshole. I guess that's another thing I can add to the list of the chores for Galerius to do at the beginning of the game. Man, I thought you were a good boy! I thought you were such a good boy! You again. His condition causes homophobia, didn't you know? I, well, I guess I don't. I don't. I don't know what causes homophobia these days. There's so many chemicals in all the food and water, you know. Are you the one threatening Virgil? I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. <sighs> Look, I, I haven't been at my best. At your day. best? What do you mean? I know that. It's the rheumatism. No fucking way. I thought you were just joking when you said the rheumatism makes him homophobic. And the pain starts to mess with your head. Oh my god, dude. Makes you angry. Mean. You know. I know that's not an excuse for how I act. Oh my god. I'll leave him fucking away. It's not as if I was just lashing out. Up. Forget this happened. Time. Okay. Alright. You know, when I was younger, uh, and my parents were going through their divorce, uh, and I was, like, really angry all the time because my blood sugar wasn't under control, I was super mean. But, uh, but I definitely wasn't homophobic. I'll say that. I was definitely mean to everyone. But not racist or homophobic. I was never that. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a huge asshole. So that's not an excuse. Rheumatism is not an excuse for uh, for, for being homophobic. Just pro tip to everyone out there. Not a very good excuse if you're looking for one. Alright, Virgil. I stare, it's a great ah, a new face. So, well, I... I already know who you are. 
It's just Rufius, and he'll, he's never going to hurt you. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Listen, Kendall, you Have should be you happy that I helped you out. Spoken to him about it? Yeah, obviously, and he won't be bothering really? you anymore. How did you manage that? Uh, I found a treatment for his rheumatism, which was making him agitated and compounding some other personal issues. Ah, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. I love how calm he is about it. He's like, oh, you fixed the rheumatism? No wonder he's not going to be homophobic anymore. Happy to help. I think he wants to help up, uh, help clean up his graffiti, too. Really? That's promising. Cool. I'll keep an eye out for him. God, what if this backfires on me? What if... <laughs> what if he comes over to clean the graffiti and instead he just stabs Virgil in the eyes? That would be terrible. All right, lead resolve the center. That's taken care of. Oh my god, this is so funny. No fucking way. <laughs> uh, I have to approve of this comment because it says, Is that a fucking French accent? And, and Twitch detected this as racism because you put fucking in front of the word French? Absolutely, we're gonna approve that. That's so stupid. Oh my god. Hi Tony, my internet sucks so I can't watch the stream, but good luck remembering the city. Thanks, Solar. I appreciate you dropping by. Alright, well, who are you voting for? Cynthia seems to know what he's doing. Okay. Anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sale. I, I literally helped you stop getting harassed. What's your fucking problem? Ugh. Nice to talk to you. Maybe I have to wait until Rufius handles his thing. I already got Rufius to, to change. Alright. Or do I have to do it again? I have to do it again. Oh. Uh, no, I already took so care of it. Okay. Sometimes I stand. Let's see if he deals with that. What what other leads do we have? We've got Pandora's box. Perhaps the priestess might be able to help her. We can't. We have to deal with Galerius, and then we have the key thing. So I I really think our only option is to do Pandora's box, but we need to talk to what's her face. We need to talk to the to the priest. So I'm gonna call for the election, I guess, is, is our option. Inquisia. Here, let me let me save the game before I do this. This seems like a bad idea. Hello? Isn't the great temple majestic? Okay. Arve again. Did you find what you needed? I don't think I have. What's the status of the election? By dusk. Just the same as it'll be between okay. Sentius, the incumbent, and Galep. Why do you up? Okay, what's your role? Can we start the election now? I don't. So Fuck, hold on. Let me see if I can do you know? anything else here. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't have any new information, so we might as well what call the election just to see. As I said, I'm planning to hold it. I suppose it I could hold dust. it sooner if there's a good reason. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm. Yes. I okay. have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Okay. Very well. I don't know if I have enough male votes. I think that I don't. I've got what, like three or four people? Did I did I get did I get Taylor Man to do it? I don't know if I did. Georgius? Oh, everyone's busy. Well, y you know. At this it point I guess I just have to do it. It is time. Let us meet to elect I'll just steal magistrate. someone's money if it doesn't work and then reset everything. <laughs> it should be fine. We need more female votes, but the system wouldn't like that. Well, women can't vote. I was told that only men who are citizens can vote. So I, I haven't really asked any women about shit. Should I have asked women to vote? Oh, fuck. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. Now I'm starting to second guess my choice, but we might just barely have enough. I'm not actually sure. If anything, doing this will tell me exactly how many men I can potentially change the votes for. I know Dooley can't vote. He's he's in prison. Eliolis probably isn't going to vote, right? It doesn't seem like he wants to. Mm. Women don't have political use in this election. <laughs> Let's see, how many how many men are here? Ah, I forgot to change this guy's vote. That's fine. 
How many, how many men? Let's see, you're not changing your vote. I didn't get to talk to Opius and ask him to do it. Fuck me. Ugh. Shit. I think if I had Opius, I'd win. That's fine. I can always reload it and we'll just grab Opius and then do it. Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, Excellent. we shall dispense with ballots, and candidates will abstain from voting. Okay. Let's make this quick. As I say, so we've got name, one, two, three, four, four five, six. We have I'll six people you, here. Horatius. Sentius, of course. Okay. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of oh, my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Okay. Virgil. Sentius. Oh, I need the last two. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Okay, cool. Rufius? The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Galerius. Citizens, you have made So it's a tie. Decision. That means it goes to the but incumbent, I think. We have a draw. That's kind of shitty. Absence of a clear ah, fuck. Rufius shall continue as acting okay. magistrate until a new election mm. is held. One month from today. My fellow citizens... Decius. All right, let's let's load it. I thought I had Decius taken care of. I I could have sworn I threatened him to vote for Galerius, but he he didn't fucking do it. We'll do maybe. Oh shit! You know what? I think I did that last stream, and then I killed him, and then forgot to do it when we reloaded. I'm not actually certain. Let's let's see if I can do it. Where is he? Little dickhead. Where did you go? It's not in his shop. Where could he fucking be? Hmm. Capra's here. Hmm. Not a lot of people with voting rights. Galerius has to do everything from the start. Shit. Ugh. Where is he? Why won't Virgil sell me his vote? I literally helped him. Okay, who are you gonna vote for? Damn it. God, nice to t I don't know why I bothered helping Virgil. He seems useless now. Where's... what's his face? He's got to be around here somewhere. May Apollo keep you safe. In here. I just need his vote. It's really just... it comes down to him. Or I guess I could... I could try and convince that one guy, but he works directly for Sentius. He's not going to change his vote. I'd have to really do something to sway him. Hmm... Maybe if you asked before helping him. That's... Oh shit, you know what it is? You know what I bet it is? I bet he won't... He won't vote. I, th I think I, I think I understand. Okay, here's what we're gonna, here's what we're gonna, what we're gonna do. I think the issue is that he won't... Virgil Solid. won't vote for Galerius because Galerius wasn't the one that helped him. Virgil only gives his vote when Galerius helps him. A little annoying, but that's how it is. Okay, cool. I'm glad that I'm... I, Figured it out with the help of, of, of you guys here. We're just gonna steal. Use a Tory note. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's fine. We'll reset everything. Ow. I straight up just ate that shot. Okay, if Galerius does all the chores at the beginning of the day, we'll, sh we'll be just fine to do this. Then Virgil's vote will count. I don't have to. Rely on that little sneaky snake fucker and we'll be all fine. Alright, come on. Activate the portal. Let's go. Rutro, I stole 74 gold and an accusatory note. I wonder if I... <laughs> Why does stealing the note even matter? It's just a rude piece of paper. Okay. Alright, Galerius. Do what I tell you. Do what I tell you, bud. I have a bunch of shit I need you to do. Uh, I need you to take care of some things urgently. Okay. Yeah. Rufus has been threatening Virgil, but if you give him some of this willow bark, it will treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down. Okay. Alright, let me see. I need you to stop Fabio from entering the empty shrine. Tell Maliolos you need his real name, uh, that you know his real name, blah 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 blah. Then tell him to withdraw from the election and release his debt bond ship. Okay. Are you you're serious? Okay, that's it. And go as fast I'll as go. you can. That's the thing, though. Is that gonna count for Opius, or is Opius gonna kill himself? That's my question here. 
even if Galerius goes and tells Maliolus to withdraw and all the debt shit, right? Is that going to automatically rope Ulpius in? Because Ulpius is up here, who's going to tell him that his debt is gone? He seemed completely unaware when I had wiped the debt away before I told him. And I don't think I told Galerius about that either, so let me just quickly deal with this. I guess it doesn't matter, though, because if Ulpius kills himself, then his vote doesn't count. But then I think we would get another draw, maybe? I, I don't know. I'm just going to... I don't. I really don't want this to come back to bite me. Okay, no, he's fine. He's good. There's no corpse down there either. Okay, cool. I, I think we're. I think we're ready for some, for some uh, politics. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh. By the way, Tony, you can get a flower by dropping off the first zip line. It's not important, but I think it was an additional lead for Galerius. I don't know. What is considered the first zip line? You mean the one that's like right? Is there one right? Oh, this one. Oh, I see. You mean the the little little flower that's like right over here, right? On the thing. I mean, I'll get it because there's probably an achievement. Ah, fuck! I almost broke my entire entire body there. See, now I'm determined to grab the flower just to have it. There's definitely an achievement for it. This game seems to give me an achievement for just about everything I do. I just got, like, two of them. One of them for helping out Virgil, and the other one for doing something else. Oh, I think it was for stopping Ulpius from killing himself. Oh, come on. Did I get it? It looks like I grabbed it. I think I did? Yeah, I did. I grabbed the flower. Let me check my inventory real quick. Because it's not there. Inventory... Ah, uh, there it is. A pretty flower, just like you said. Hmm. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and start the election off. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up. And we should be all set. Where is what's-her-face? Uh... There we go. Sure, this should tell me where she is. She kind of wanders around There's a no bit. Sometimes she's that. here, sometimes she's over there. Let's go ahead and do this. Also, what's, what's up with this door hey. here? You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? No, no, I would never. Uh, I wasn't, but now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Why shouldn't I go down Nobody's there? told you about Hannibal. Huh. Why do I have to do everything around here? Hannibal? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Okay. Funny accent. You should go down into the sisters looking for junk you could clean up and sell. Okay. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? I wasn't done. Oh, I see. Galer... Where is... Well, if he's not going to pay attention... I might as well head in. He just walks away. He just leaves. He doesn't even... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not the right bow. Give me the right bow. Ah! You're welcome. You are in my way, unfortunately. Some say he's still clanking down there to this day. Had a creative way into the upper cistern. Alright, we'll, we'll deal with that once I'm done exploring here. The election can wait. I might as well do this cistern shit while I'm here. I don't see any reason not to. Lunar pendant? Lunar pendant that's. There's a Latin inscription on the backside which reads Sendia Def. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't really know what the point of it is, but it's always good to have stuff. Over cistern, some arrows. You can see there's like a little passageway this way. Alright, go over there in a moment. I don't think anything here matters to me. I guess it was just Hannibal down here. I'm assuming that corpse was Hannibal. I guess we'll never know. I, I didn't get to hear the rest of the story. Oh, come on. Get up there. 765 denarius. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's get into the upper cistern. 
We got this. We got so much shit on lock, it is, it is great. Climb up here. Man, pretty crazy how this game has better platforming than, uh, than Atomic Heart does. Absolutely incredible. Let's see. Uh, should be a high enough to make this jump. Yeah, there we go. Boink. And what do we have? Is that an actual person? That is an actual person. Italian Plumber is the name of this achievement that I just received. Hi, what's... what seems to be the issue here? You... who are you? Did he send you? Who is he? I'm Tony and nobody sent me. Thank you for here. You have to help me save before that monster comes back. I should have done the election. I didn't know it was going to get this heavy this quick. Okay, what's going on here? Scintilla. I found a way out through the gate of Horn. Ooh. But it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He, she must be sentient. Forever. Or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. If we kill him, then... Oh my god. How hasn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Who who did this? Pentius. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. Hmm. Where is the way out? Behind me. There's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The okay. only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting this his This is not a very good it. idea. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. If she does this, she's gonna get herself Help killed. Me, and we can escape together. What about the others? There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? Hmm. Video game, it's it's dangling a, a, a pretty lady, and I do have a weakness for short hair. Let's see, what do I do? I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everybody else is going to die. What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? I'm letting you go, let's get out of here. Let's round everybody up. There's no time! Oh, Wait, fuck. Did you hear that? He's here. Oh, fuck Wait, me. Okay. You have to let me go. It's now or never. I'm gonna have to hide, I think. I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everybody else is gonna die. What? No. I'm not lady, I'm sorry, I'll be back. I'll figure it out. We'll just reset time. It'll be fine. Um let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let this go. This will prioritize the new quest, showing its objective markers only. Escape isn't worth the lives of everyone. I've changed my mind. I'll let you go. Forget the others. Let's get out of here. It's, it's yeah. no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you. He's a monster. Oh, dear God. This is, this is gonna be bad. I don't think I can pass a persuasion check. I'm sorry, I need to try. Alright. You're making a mistake. I guess we'll see. Oh god. My friend Senti is about his daughter. Okay. I mean she said he was coming, but I don't see him, so let me, let me explore just a smidgen here. Gotta be a key around here somewhere. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Just heard something. I don't know if that was me activating the door just now that made that sound. Where could he possibly be coming from? She's just bluffing! She straight up just lied! She just fucking lied! Yeah, the door just- the, the metal gate makes a weird sound. Yeah, nah, no one's coming here. She was just trying to get me to release her early. Thank God I didn't do that. Is this gonna kill me? I hope not. I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, shit, hold on. Bunch of fucking statues here. Yeah, I would've lived. I assumed I would've died, because the rest of this is, like, pretty shallow. Mmm... Let's see. 
See you tomorrow, Captive. Sentis has the key for here, and she wasn't lying. He only appears if you proceed with the ending. Mm. No, no, no. We're not going to proceed with that specific ending. What I'm going to do is take away his uh, right as magistrate. Crushed creature. An emaciated human-like creature splattered in gold. It appears to have been crushed to death while entering the cistern from the cave beyond. Alright, let me, um... Let me get us out of here. I think what I'll do is I'll call for the election. If sentience isn't going to be the magistrate anymore, he probably has no reason to keep everybody here, right? So... I might as well persuade him afterwards. Oh god, the whole game has to load. Because you smell, Amicius, you little dickhead. Where's what's-her-face? Uh, Pandora's box. Oh god. Where? There you are. Let's do a save before we call oh. this. Just, just because. Okay. Saving the game, saving the game, and the save is ready. Cool. Uh, let's see what's the status of the election. Let me start the election now. May prevent conflict between the voters. Okay. Citizens. I think we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead and do this, and then we can... We can deal with them later. My god, my internet is shitting itself watching the stream in 1060p. Jesus Christ. You guys are having a rough time. Everybody's been complaining about Twitch's, like, internet in my streams lately. Is Twitch just having a shit day? Like, a shit week? What's going on? I should check Down Detector or something. It can't... It, it's, like, too coincidental for everybody who watches my streams to be having a shit time with the internet in it. And it's definitely not something on my end. I'm, I'm streaming, you know, same way I always had. Alright, let's get this election taken care of. I'm hoping that Sentius will not, you know, cause a ruckus when he loses, but we'll, we'll see. If anything, it'll get Dooley out, which is what I care about. It's the whole reason I'm doing this. When has Twitch never had a problem? Uh, you know, good point. Good point. It is Twitch. Could be worse. It could be YouTube. That shit changes the platform every other fucking day, so it made it really difficult for me to stream consistently. Gotta love that. Mm. Fuck Sentius, all my homies hate Sentius. Citizens, we have a quarate body. I do think it's amusing that like she can't vote, <laughs> despite being in charge of like starting this. Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Pelva. What if I just shot him in the head now? I feel like I feel like that would make this nice and easy. Also, straight up love that Maliolus just doesn't come to vote. He's so fucking mad. <laughs> Alright, Virgil should vote the way I want him to. Of course. There we go. What? Oh, no, no, no. Decius, yeah, you're the, you're the dickhead. There we go. Hilarious. A man who treated my Hilarious. Cool, we got it, we got it. Hilarious. Yeah! We got our boy Galerius, he's the magistrate! Fuck yeah, dude. What? Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh um I just want to say this isn't something I ever wanted. Yeah, but you deserve it, Galerius. You're cool. Oh, I love that his name has changed too. Not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. Hell yeah, Galerius. Is that Dooley is to be freed. Yeah. Galerius, release him from his cell immediately, please. Wait, do I need to say please? I do it, Horatius. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Fuck yeah. Alright, we'll deal with Sentius. Is he gonna... Yeah, we'll deal with him later. Croatia should be doing his fucking job. Dooley will be freed. I straight up do not remember why I wanted Dooley freed. 
he he has something that I need. I just don't remember what. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, we're just waiting. Come on, Horatius, free Dooley, free this, free this happy little guy. Yeah, there we go. All right. Isn't the great temple majestic? Very nice. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. Yeah. To let me out? I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. Duly's such a sweetheart. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths? Then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then Hell yeah. I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Alright, Dooley. Uh, hello? I am the newcomer, Dooley. I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galerius said I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? You bet your bottom dollar I am. We've met before, Dooley. Let's say that. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. Dooley. You're you welcome, can have Dooley. my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would, but then he died. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. Mm -hmm. What is he it? He gave me a key to the cisterns and told mm. me to keep it safe. He said there's something very. Please help me find it. I see. All right, I'll oh, help you. you. This is the key that we need. We don't need a key from Sentius. Key to the upper cistern. Entry must be around here somewhere. Cool. Oh, oh shit, hold there. on. In the cisterns. Way up high. Oh, look over there. Hmm. Something shiny. Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. Alright, let's let Dooley do his, do his thing. Free plaque, Hades, Lord of Many. Oh, so it has to be Hades doing this, right? Let's see. Yeah, this is the letter from Sentius. Okay, let's get let's get Skedadlin. The many shall oh, suffer no. for the sins of the Ah, world. fuck, Dooley! Oh shit! I should have stopped him. Oh fuck! No, Dooley! <laughs> you fucked everything for everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um. That's fantastic. I was not expecting that to happen. I should have stopped him from stealing. All right. Sentius could go this way. Hey. Oh. No, that's that's fair. That's fair. That guy had a clear, pretty clear shot on me. All right, Sentius, open, open the fucking portal so we can leave. But we have the key to the cistern, which is important. That's the important thing. But ironically, Sentius was right for locking him up. Also, you can't stop him. Uh, uh, that's no good. Okay, that's good though, in the sense that we have the the key to the cistern, which is important. Okay, Galerius, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, here we go. The golden- uh, we have a new option, hold on. The golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. But something tells me you're not kidding. All right, something tells me that you're not fucking and around. Believe you. But I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. Mm. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I bet he could have gathered more people if I had done more things. Uh, okay. Unlock the upper cistern. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't remember where the door is, quite frankly. Oh, that's right. I can just go through. You solve it, Sisyphus. Attack or pursue the stone. Why are just you acting all weird? 
Tell me about the pattern you, you saw. You think you wish to. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. I'll say no more. The okay. new. Let's do a couple things. Let's do a couple things. I, I need to get to the cistern, I know that, but there's a person in the lower area. I don't remember how to get back there. But there was a there was a guy. There was a guy in the lower area and he was telling me if I could if I could tell him which god is doing this, he would help me. But I don't remember who that guy is. Let's see. God, I have to remember how to get there. That's the... Ugh, fuck. I can remember it being a little bit of a hassle. I think I fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah, I was supposed to be over there. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just uh, rerun through that and it'll be fine. Take like a second to get back to where I was. This way. This way. And this way. Cool. You mean the Philosopher? Yeah, I guess. I just remember him as the sewer patron. The man hanging out in the sewers for fun. Let's see, wooden carving. Looks like it might be religious nature. Leave it because I can't pick it up. Roman plaque. Pluto, father of riches. Oh, you know, it might be Pluto who's doing this then. I need a key to get out of here, don't I? Stone disc. Hard to do it. It's another fish thing. A lot of fish symbols here, huh? Yeah, I guess we're, we're not getting out that way. I don't remember how to get back to that fucking guy. We love that Galerius believes whatever the fuck we're saying. I feel like I should have told him to do other things and then gather everyone first. I definitely fucked that up a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, Ulpius is definitely gonna get himself killed first, which is a problem. Mm. Yeah, too many people are gonna have bad shit happen to them. Okay, let's... Fortune, oh, smile me. on you, brother. I do not know how to get to the upper cistern, so what I'm hey, going to do... Oh my god. You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? I am, leave me alone. Yes. Nobody's told you. So, there was you know, I like the idea that he walked away from me, so I'm just gonna rush through everything. That way none of you guys know what he says unless you were to, like, pause the stream, I guess, frame by frame. I like the mystery of not knowing what's going on down here. You will die. Alright. Let's get to the upper cistern. Get, and then I think there's going to be some new arrows over here. There is. Very cool. Not this one. It's the other one over there. Whoop. This way. I think it's got to be Pluto, then. Pluto's the god of riches. Makes sense, you know? I just want to see if I could do it from down here. Ah, no, I missed one. There we go. Right the top. We can open up the cistern from here, and that'll show me where the, uh... Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Go away. Not this way. This way. Just to double check, yeah, I need the actual key from Sentius. Okay. Unlock the double doors here. There we go. I needed to unlock both halves of the door for whatever reason. Hmm, isn't that the Christian fish? I don't know. There's a hidden entrance near the shrine, that's how you enter to find him. Near the shrine. Ah, that's right, that's right. You have to shoot the beehive, and then when the beehive is shot down. Yeah, okay. I'm remembering now. Let's uh let's go do that then. We'll do that. I'll steal some more stuff, reset the day, make Galerius do all of his chores like a good boy, 
And then we'll leave with as many people as we can. I don't think we're going to get everybody. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get everybody, but Galerius will get a, a handful of people. More than a handful, probably. Let's deal with the shrine. Let's see. Oh, it's fucking locked, which means I need to deal with this fucking guy. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth. Hello there, frick. Yeah, let's see. Let's just escape. Blah blah blah. Uh, What's your story? I need well. the key off this guy. You know what I might do? I might just kill him. That way I can have the key to the temple. The many oh, shall suffer. He just suffer doesn't have the key. That's for the fine. sins of the one. All right, whatever. I needed to reset the day anyway, and it feels good to shoot him in the head, so it's fine. Doink, doink, doink. Out of here. I suggest you talk to more people to advance with Aquitia. That's also how you persuade the old granny to actually talk sense. I've already figured out how to get people out of here. I want to see how many people I can get out at once. That's that's what we're... I promised you that I would figure out this mystery and get out at least once by the end of today. We're already 51 minutes into the stream and by God, I'm going to do it. We're going to figure it out. And then... Oh god, are you stuck? Oh shit. Get to the fucking shrine then. I wanna I wanna get us out at least once a little bit. Oh, and then I have to get the actual fucking key from Sentius. Ah, Fuck. Ah, okay. We can do that, right? Just do some persuading. A little bit of a little bit of persuasion. This will be fine. This will be fine. I think we got this. Very good place. We're at a good place. Okay, Galerius. Uh, I need you to take care of some things urgently. Okay, tell Meliolus to do this. That's it. Go as fast as you can. And then I'll meet up with him later. Right now, I'm going to deal with Sentius, I think. But you know what? I think... I'm trying to remember where that secret entrance was. To go find the philosopher, was it here? Nah, this is just this is just like a random collectible here. Just some money, I think. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Let's go talk to Sentius, I think. Common mm. thread, Pandora's box. Oh. Yeah, that just tells me where he is. That's fine. Keep an eye out for Santa, I'll be doing. Upstairs, give me your fucking key, bud. We're finally alone. Okay. We've had this yeah. conversation before. Wait. If I understand correctly, someone is about. I must yes. have entrusted you with figuring out who the cult is. That a? I couldn't stop it from being broken. Ah, uh, look it now. I... Okay. I'd like you to release Dooley. Let's see here. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? It's Dooley. We already figured out how to stop. What happens now? I think I know who it is. Yes. It's Dooley. Why do you say that? What do you mean, why? You didn't even give me the option. Hold on, let's do that again. Of course. Talk about the golden rule. I think I know who it is. It's Dooley. And then he just walks away. Is he going to see Dooley? Is that what he's doing? That doesn't... Something feels wrong. Like I've broken something? Is he going to see Dooley? I'm going to follow him a little bit. But if he's not, then... I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Come on, Sentius. He just hates you. <laughs> Why? He should he should be happy that I accused Dooley, Consider, Yeah, he's not even going to Dooley. Alright, he's just wasting my time then. I know for a fact it's fucking Dooley if you release him from jail. Okay. Let's see. Ask them. Uh, let's see. Good. 
I guess I can't do anything until I've gone to the... Mm. He's already in jail. What more do you want him to do? I mean, if he knows that it's Dooley, then, like... He could just keep Dooley in there and there's no problem, right? Alright, let's 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 see. The, the, talk of about the golden rule again. I already figured out how to stop it. If you stopped one person from breaking it and you're there must be someone the else. Right. If you, the same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here. Interesting. Obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break. I think so. It looks like you'll have to con Listen, I know I skipped through his dialogue there because he's just explaining what a paradox is, but I did catch the tail end of what he said, which is if he was to die, thank you. Something would happen. So we're definitely going to save and then I'm going to shoot. Did he detect? Don't be so foolish. If you kill me, allow me to explain. When I discovered the when ritual, discovered the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. Is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in you such a way that you paradox it, to eliminate the when golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will... Yeah, okay. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason... The same thing would happen if you, say... If I Inadvert... Do... Yeah. You're t so if I killed you, everyone would die, and I'd return to the original timeline with no way Indeed. back. I might need to Thank rethink you. this. Okay, but why not just shoot him, then? That's why we needed the gun from the start. <laughs> he has a key to get out, right? Ask about the- Yeah, I tried, but that wasn't an option. I think what I have to do is go to the cistern, talk to his daughter, and then come back. If he can't see me do this, though... The many shall oh, suffer for the sins of the one. I got him! I got him! Everybody dies, but I get to go home. Fuck everyone else. Boomer mentality. We get to leave. Everybody else below me doesn't matter. Hello. Oh. Uh, hi there. You gave me a bit, a of, a bit fright. of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Hello, Al. You look suspiciously like Ulpius. Al Worth, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Hmm. I'm Tony. I was hoping you know who I am. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate, breaking some kind of ancient law. <laughs> it said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and statues sprang to life. Firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. I didn't get to Apparently, loot the key off. As the citizens that's, that's screamed the main and thing. died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Uh, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here two thousand years ago? I, I'm not sure I understand. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry. Come again. I still have the suicide note you carved into this tablet here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Oh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how the I could have... The gods brought me here to tell you. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I... Uh, I'm not following. You should be grateful, bud. I killed the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying... Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Correct. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out and never found one. I can't see how I could possibly find one now. Oh, so God. Is he going to kill himself like right in front of me? die here. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. A mistake? Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't cold. The guy was a dick. He had his daughter in the thing. Ah. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabat. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, I got one of the endings. I got ending one of four. That's, yeah. 
I obviously got the bad ending. How many might have survived if you hadn't killed him in cold blood? It wasn't cold! He was an asshole! <laughs> he was super rude! Alright. No, I want to do another ending. I want to do another one. I do like all their pictures, though. I can't skip the, the thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, now it lets me. Tap escape to continue. It was very hot blood, actually. He's being very patient with your crazy ass. Y you know? It's not that wacky if I can... If he has really distinct handwriting like I do, then, you know. Okay, so obviously that's the bad ending. We need to get that key off of Sentius, and the only way I can perceive to get that key now is a few different ways. We need to talk to Galerius and make sure he brings as many people as possible to the cistern. At which point, we will then go to the cistern, talk to the daughter, go back to Sentius. Is Galerius gonna be here? No, he's still doing his chores, I think. Oh, hey, hold on, there's those goose eggs. Nice. Goose eggs turned to gold. These look valuable. Yeah, we'll take those. And you said I could give that to what's-his-face? I need to talk to that philosopher as well, and I... You said it's by the shrine. But where's the exit? That's the thing. I can't really get into the shrine anymore, because I can't, I can't... I don't know where the key is? Hmm. Not the baby geese. No, it's fine. They were gonna get turned to gold at some point anyway, and it's just, that's just how it is. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting in here. Hmm, let's go bring this to What's-His-Face, just to see what it does. Mariolus isn't receiving visit. Uh... Who are you gonna vote Mariolus, for? Mariolus, of course. If old man said... Okay. Whatever. We'll deal with you later. There's the cave hermit, but we don't have the answer for him, do we? We have two tablets. I have the tablet of Hades, and then the tablet of Pluto, which may be enough to convince him. I'm convinced it would be Pluto, based off of that tablet. Hello, Galerius. Go... Go down there and talk to the guy. Ugh. Alright, we'll, we'll go to the cistern, I suppose. He's gonna give me a rough time if I try to get in here, but... Care less. Ah, leave me alone, Demetrius. Yeah, I am. Thank God, Galerius came over and interrupted him. He didn't even get to start his spiel. You. Oh hey, <laughs> it's just one, just one single shot to the head. I think that's the first time I've killed one of those without a golden arrow. A little, little depressing, a little spooky looking to be honest when when it's done that way. But what are you gonna do? So, let's see. If you want, you can talk to Georgius to refine the entrance. Okay, cool. We'll talk to Georgius then. And we'll go this way, we'll go up to the cistern. Come on. Boink. Me up. There we go. This. And then we'll go talk to you. We've already had this conversation before. <laughs> Okay. Nobody sent me. We've had this conversation before. It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade him to let us go. Try. Okay, cool. So we're all set there. Let's skedaddle. Oh god, the loading. You can see a little bit of the white void. Alright. Very cool. Scintilla? Why is Scintilla? Oh, Scintilla obviously in the cistern. Duh. I thought that was a different person. Hmm. Didn't he already pick up the lunar amulet? I remember him picking an amulet off the corpse in the center of the cistern. I did pick up an amulet in the center. Uh, it is... The lunar pendant. Yeah, this one right here. 
Uh, okay, so Galerius has probably had enough time to go home, right? So he can grab as many people as humanly possible. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. He's he's on his way. Hello, Galerius. I have one last task for you, my friend. Oh god, just a lucky guess. Okay. Uh, the same day or over and over again, like Sisyphus, blah 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 blah. blah. I have a feeling it you'll do great. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Now I have a chore for you to do, please. Zapna. See. There's no oh, right, There's no option to Okay. All right. That's not a good thing. I guess I have to tell him to do it at the very beginning, oh, but that, that's, that's fine. I thought he wouldn't be able to grab many people. Uh, I know what you did to Scintilla. What are you talking about? You're keeping her tied up in the cistern. <laughs> you know, you remind me of him. Poomst. Al, Alworth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. Uh-oh. You remember him? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here. Sentius. Everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're I'm just more leave. willing to break the rules. I haven't really done much with you, Sentius. Kind of Never forgot about you. compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking... He's worse than a monster. Of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life. Just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've lived through the day. What? Nine times? Most impressive. Has it really only and been yet nine? Everything you've done has been in vain. Because there's no escape. Except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Best to take your own life now. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Uh I'm going to take away your ability to be the Magistrate, and then you'll have nothing to live for. Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all Yeah, this. he starts with his title. title if I take that away from him, he'll have no reason. I mean, he'll have no power, you know what I mean? Music of birds. We can make this work. as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all. Over and over again. For eternity. Don't you see? Hmm. I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Hand over the key to the exit. And why would I agree to that? Uh, if you don't hand it over, you might have an uprising on your hands. Yeah, we'll do that. You might want to think that through. If anyone so much as touches me, everyone dies. Hmm. What's to stop me from taking it? I guess the I'll give you the same answer. Getting this key is over my dead body. And if I die, hmm. I won't be able to open the portal for you. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point. If you kill me, yada yada yada. Okay. This isn't over. I certainly. Find a way to break the cycle and you with it. What are you going to do? Beg the gods for help? <laughs> they don't care about you, and neither do I. 
Now get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Uh, let's go ahead and do shit. No, because if we do the new vote, then that means Dooley breaks it in that. Ah, fuck. Okay. All right. Ask Koishia about the gods? Eh, that's not a bad idea. You just tell me to go talk to Georgius. Georgius can Greetings open the door, right? Alright, Georgius, I know, I know, blah, blah, blah. No way out of here. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Have you not been told about the last attempt? The last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Oh, God. Long ah, story time. It is a long story. Uh... Why don't you tell me? The first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. Mm -hmm. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. I can do that. I admire your enthusiasm, my friend, but please allow me to explain why this is inadvisable. There mm -hmm. was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice sink the entire thing. Oh. And that... Tragically, is where their tail ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I, I see. Say... Got it. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. You motherfucker. I'm glad everybody in the chat hates it too. Let's see, you s I thought you said it was Georgius that gets me into the shrine again. Let me see. Let me say that. I'm just gonna skip through. What can we do about it? It's not simple enough. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Alright. I wanna get into this temple. I wanna talk to the fucking philosopher again. I just don't remember the way that we... There's so many nooks and crannies and there's like no map, you know? Alright. We can't call the election. That's not gonna work. Mm. Let's let's just talk to Aquisia, I guess. A new face. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would I go about talking to whichever god is responsible for the golden rule? Well, I suppose we'd first need to figure out which god that is, and I'm afraid even Ooh, I Ooh, she has her suspicions. I have my suspicions. Who? Who? This might sound like a strange question, but please. How did you find your way here? Stranger dragged me into a river. Uh, she wants me to find more common threads. Good. I... Okay. You... People mention a river. That's all I noticed. Okay, so we need more information. I see. We're back at square one. Is she just really quiet? Yeah, she's really, really quiet. Kushi is not the loudest person here. Who am I missing? Who who have I not talked to, I guess? I'm trying to think. Demetrius, did I, I ask you about it? Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Oh god. I don't want to have this conversation with you. No, I'm not. I know about your creature, don't worry about me. Well, it's your funeral. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he's over here now. Okay. Alright. Uh, I already got his story. You're not useful to me. What about you, Horatius? I don't think I've talked to him really at all. What is it, citizen? Uh, what's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand man. Keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. Okay, how'd you end up here? Liguria, of North originally. I was doing alright for myself. Twelve years into my service. 
Had a nice girl lined up from when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved. My commander right. sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. Pick up a little kind of and silver the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting. All right, he's just down, telling me about the fire. Yeah, no. and the river. He's just telling me about the river again. Oh, some people mentioned a coin. Okay. Fair enough. Let's leave. All right. There we go. We, we got something. It was just Horatius. I, was, I just hadn't talked to him. Can you blame me, though? He's the most generic and boring-looking one. Again. All right. I got a new. I got a new thread. People mentioned a coin. Yes. I suppose that could be something. Ah, oh, come on, Aquisia. Why has she got to shoot down every fucking thing I bring her? She's really pessimistic. Memory lapses. I know. I wasn't entirely sure how. Come on. That's three threads. As I feared. I think. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Has been going through. Let me ask you this. Did you happen to encounter a stranger in the forest before you arrived here? Yes, a young and woman. Did you happen to catch her name? No, I didn't. I see. And was this stranger by any chance wearing a hood? Uh, she was wearing a hoodie. How could you because have known I've that? I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. Follow I me think to the. You'd better follow me to the baths. Follow me to the baths, you say? All right. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Would that set off the golden rule? Happy to follow your guide. She did. She did. She did tell me not to follow too close. Everyone's gonna think we're fucking in the bathhouse. Oh no. Hmm. If the river is a theme, perhaps Hades is the god responsible for that. See, that's the thing. I thought it was Hades too, because I picked up a tablet that says Hades' name on it. I picked up two. One that says Hades, and another one that says Pluto. But I'm thinking it's Hades. I mean, Pluto is the god of riches, but still. All right, I hope nobody thinks we're having sex in here and comes to interrupt us. That'd be a little, that'd be a little embarrassing. There we go, resume following her. Let's go, let's go, we got this. Pluto is Hades? Ah, oh, shit, okay, there we go. See? That's what you guys get for being way smarter than me. Granted, a little silly to expect me to know all the fucking names these gods have. There we go. So it is Hades. It's Hades for sure. 100% Hades. All right. You're here. You were asking how I knew the here. Look at You're the bottom of the baths. The it's a little hard to make out with this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. <laughs> but do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest. To find a hooded figure with a coin. With a coin. Yeah. It's just as you described it. It's Charon. Only, I think or I no. know who that stranger is. is it Ka yeah, Charon's Charon, the boat person, right? Yeah, the ferryman. The ferryman. The dead. Charon, who in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx, the river that separates the land of the. I called that it was the, the river Styx on the first when fucking I episode. The river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. There are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Oh no! I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. This place is the underworld. I'm afraid so. It's uh -oh. starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us hmm. that the Golden Rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions. So, yeah, but what do I do I'll with this information? Them if I can. Let's see. Uh, why are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In Maybe she's case, really into Japanese Gashapon, and she needs coins, coins to put into the machines. She, she should probably just buy the things she wants off of eBay. I mean, I guess those would be 
super expensive, and she probably just likes to gamble. The coins each of us had on us, and that might explain why we the others did not. Okay. The funny thing is that if you had asked Karen for her name at the beginning, she would have responded with Karen, which is you mishearing Karen. Also, you pushed. If you pushed on with it, you would have made a Karen meme reference. Jesus Christ! This game has a Karen meme reference. Now, now we can go to the cave hermit. I have to find the cave hermit though. Like how to get to him? I don't. Ah. All right, we'll find it out. It doesn't matter if we solve this or not. Everybody is dead anyways. I mean, it keeps them from being stuck in perpetual torment, and I might be able to free them, which would be useful. Let's see. So we're dead. My first thought too. In the old story, but it was also possible for the living to reach it. Yeah. See, there we go. If they were particularly fearless. So, I'm afraid I don't know. Plus, there's the tale of uh, Orpheus and Eurydice. You know, Orpheus goes down there to grab Eurydice and pull her out, and Hades says, sure, you can do it, but if you turn around to look at her, it's all fucked up. And right when he's at the end, right when he's at the fucking gate, the dickhead turns around and then she's she's gone forever. So there is the chance, you know, that we can get all these people out of the underworld, you know? So there, you know, that's something. What you can tell me about Charon. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. You're in Greek, you would know these stories. Slightly different. Whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. Ovid. That's a nice name. Souls of the dead, meeting a grim ferryman named... It was said that he'd help the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's mm -hmm. why it was once our custom to bury our... Alright, so why didn't you all recognize Charon immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. Mm. You say you saw a young woman with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kerti. And Kerti. Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort. And their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. You know, I was gonna say that that's really stupid that she would have the hood motif throughout and then people would like figure this shit out. But then I just realized that anytime I make a new outfit for my roleplay character, it always just has the same color theme and is always basically the same outfit, just slightly different every time. So you know what? People are predictable, I suppose. Why were you trying to keep this from me? No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings, but I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. Okay, that's all the now, questions I had. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Mm -hmm. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. Mm -hmm. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld, the head on, way. or find a way to escape. With the help of Proserpina or some like other philosophers, guy. probably are okay. Let's see. Tell me more about escaping with the help of Proserpina or a god, As uh, I a guide. Both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. I'm gonna go for the Aeneas, Aeneas option. Those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. Mm. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said see. the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. Uh, so she might still be willing to work against him to help if us? The stories are true, then I suppose There we go. So. There's a silver lining the here. Is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment. There possibility is of a spirit guide? I don't suppose you've come across guide. one of those in your travels. I, suppose... I hear the female statues whispering to me every now and then. Truly. It 
you're only brave okay, as that's not, no, that's something. Again, we got this. I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? Uh, it's always the same voice, and she's helpful if a little cryptic. Fascinating. Perhaps she is a benevolent spirit. Perhaps, perhaps you're hearing the voice of Persephone. Hmm. You're hearing the voice of Persephone herself. Persephone. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Me. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? I've already found a way to escape. Truly? Then why are you still here? Because the path will result in the deaths of nearly everyone here, and I don't want that. Oh. Then it seems you have made a great sacrifice for all of us, friend. But unfortunately, I'm afraid your only other option will be to confront... Ooh, you know who. So sentious. Hmm. There's a lot of shit going on here. Four heroes escaping the underworld. Four endings to get. Well, we've already got one of them. Uh, the confronting the head-on way... Which is killing Sentius did not end very well, so that's that one is out. The Hercules option is fucked. We're not doing that one. Let's see. Can we just escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question, but the problem is, this place is yeah, no to climb up the shaft. Build a ladder big enough. Just trying it would break the gold. Yeah, we know that one. Okay. I've noticed you seem uncomfortable calling the god of the underworld by his name. Why is All that? All Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. Mm. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Tell me more about confronting Pluto head-on. Is everyone so blunt where you're from? Oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to mm. learn the truth about the Golden Rule, and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld. You are no but Hercules. He was... Hercules couldn't manipulate time or turn organic matter into gold. Are you telling me that you can? I won't pretend to understand exactly what that means. But if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Okay. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you know who. You need to enter the great temple overlooking the city, which I'm assuming she has the key to. Please have the key. Ah, fuck. There doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. Fuck me. Ugh. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. Four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody or a series of somebodies forcibly removed them. And in doing so, dishonored uh, and angered our I see. You could recover and replace all. Get all the plaques, and then we get an audience with Hades. Gotcha. What can you tell me about it's the obelisk? A stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head. You'll okay. find them all over Rome, but of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. However, this one is unusual in that each Different style, of the Roman, Greek, Egyptian, another I don't different. recognize. That okay. means you will need to recover four different plaques. A mystery Roman, plaque. Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Okay. Interesting. Where would I find the Egyptian plaque? Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Fuck. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. Okay. We have to but find I Kabash then. Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So... All right, we got a bunch of new leads. This is good. This is a good start. Look in his room. Okay, what about the mystery plaque? You're on your own with that one. Ask Aurelia. Oh fuck! Why did I fail that one? What do you mean? Perhaps. If I do this one, will it reset? Okay. I'm ready to get started. As for Livia, it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. No, she's not alone. Okay, I'll have a chat with her. We'll start looking for the Egyptian plaque. Let's look for the Egyptian one, I guess. In any case, time may fortuna got okay, 